Welcome aboard my sailing friends and thank you for watching the Sailboat Instructor channel. My name is Eric Bissell and I'll be your skipper today. We'll be sailing on a 19 foot Flying Scott sailboat. This is the second and final race of the 2021 Whale of a Sail Regatta hosted by the Carlisle Sailing Association. Sailing with me as crew is Richard Alonzo. This video is filmed in 360 and is best viewed on your virtual reality goggles. When watching my sailing videos in 360, I recommend that you sit on a swivel chair so that you can turn all the way around in 360 degrees without bumping into anything. When the boat changes directions like we're about to do, simply move your chair with the boat. In this start, we're going to execute a port tack approach. When doing a port tack approach, we'll sail on a port tack several boat lengths downwind of the line, sailing towards the race committee boat. We'll tack back towards the line, tacking back on the starboard tack, giving us enough time to get up to the starting line so that we can hit the line right at the starting signal with a bunch of speed and have a great start. At the start, what I want to do is be able to have a hole to my lure so that I can put my bow down and speed up into it and get a good, good start with some good boat speed. As we get ready to make our final turn in, I'm scanning ahead and looking for oncoming boats that are sailing on starboard tack. I like to pick one incoming starboard tack boat so that I can tack right on them so that they can't sail over me and they can't sail below me. Our goal is to build a hole to the leeward of us so that at the start or just before it we can put our bow down, build some speed, and get a good start with good speed. After we make our final tack, we want to build and defend our hole. If there are incoming boats on port tack, we want to defend against them by pointing our bow towards them and making our hole unattractive. Likewise with swoopers who are trying to swoop in from behind and get to our leeward and run us up, we want to put our bow down before they get overlap and ease our sails, making that hole less attractive to them. What happens in this start is after I make my final tack, one of the boats behind us tries to swoop underneath me to get into the hole that hey, I'm trying to build. That forces me to come down and defend. As I come down to defend, the boat to my windward sees the opportunity to try and drive over me, and she makes an attempt to do so. I was successful in defending against the swooper, however, the boat to windward made a bad decision and has put us both in a very bad situation. As I see this happen, I'm the right-of-way boat and I have the full right to be able to aggressively force them up, yell at them, tell them to come up, tell them I'm the leeward boat, but I'm more concerned about getting a good start. So instead of forcing them up and forcing me into their bad air, which would ruin my start, I'm going to put my bow down and give them an inch so that later in the race I can take a mile. As a result, we got a good start. We didn't get a perfect start, but we are sailing in clean air. We're sailing fast. If we look over to the right, the boat to the windward is not a big threat to sail over the top of us, and it looks like we're going to be able to get into clean air. What we're not doing is yelling at the other boat and engaging in any type of squabble or anything like that that's going to distract us from sailing fast. So we're in good clean air, let's sail fast, and let's get to the first mark in first place. Pull it in, pull it in on that left half, there you go. I hope you found this video helpful. Please visit my Sailboat Instructor YouTube channel and visit sailboatinstructor.com for more great videos.